Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for today's talk. There's an urgent situation unfolding in America, and today I'll unveil all the unnerving details. So let's get started with a critical question. Where were you on March 9th, 2022, when President Biden signed the death warrant on American freedom? On that day, in a hush ceremony at the White House, without the approval of Congress, the states, or the American people, Biden signed into law Executive Order 14067. Buried in his order are a few paragraphs titled Section 4. The language in Section 4 makes Order 14067 the most treacherous act by a sitting president in the history of our republic. Because Section 4 sets the stage for legal government surveillance of all U.S. citizens, total control over your bank accounts and purchases, and the ability to silence all dissenting voices for good. In this new war on freedom, the Dems aren't coming for your guns. No, they're thinking much bigger than that. They're coming for your money. And it's already started. Hi, my name is Jim Rickards. I'm a former advisor to the Pentagon, the White House, Congress, the CIA, and the Department of Defense. I'm also an attorney, investment banker, and author of seven books on currencies and international economics. When places like Fox, CNBC, or Bloomberg want to know what's about to shake up the global economy, they call me. Most of all, like you, I'm a proud American patriot. The disturbing predictions you're about to see are based on my independent research and my contacts in the intelligence community. I've never made this kind of public announcement before, but it's my duty to pull the alarm. This is what I believe Section 4 of Biden's order means for all Americans. The U.S. dollar will be made obsolete. Soon your cash will be confiscated or will simply be worthless paper. The cash currency we have now will be replaced with a new programmable digital token. But the truth is, few outside the deep state recognize Biden's move for what it really is. If my predictions are correct, this is so much more sinister than simply replacing the cash dollar with a new digitized version. Friend, this new currency will allow for total control of all American citizens, because every digital dollar will be programmed by the government. That means they will be able to turn on or turn off your money at will. Not only that, but they'll be able to track and record every purchase you make. This is very different than online banking and has nothing to do with crypto. I'll explain everything in a moment, but what you need to know now is AOC has already publicly declared her support for a government-controlled spyware currency. The digital dollar means Dems would be able to punish any contribution, purchase, or even social media comment that they don't like. And this isn't something years away. It's starting now. Biden's secret army has been hard at work, and U.S. trials are already well underway. In fact, our government is racing to catch up. China and Russia have already launched pilot programs for their own digital currencies. More than half the countries in the world and almost 90% of central banks are testing or exploring a digital currency right now. In my opinion, it's not a question of will the U.S. implement a digital dollar. It's just a question of when. And the answer to that is it's already happening. Under Project Lithium and Project Hamilton, the new spyware currency has been quietly tested for several years. There's no stopping it. I predict we'll see a digital dollar in circulation next year or 2024 at the latest. But I do have some good news for you. It's almost too late, but you can still protect your assets and your freedom if you know exactly what to do. In the next 84 seconds, I'm going to outline everything for you. You'll see the ugly proof of their plan. You'll see what this could mean for you and your life savings. I'm also going to show you the only way I trust to protect your money and your freedom from Biden's new surveillance machine. I call it asset emancipation, and it's easy to do and understand. If you choose to take advantage of it, asset emancipation is a way to legally secure and even grow your wealth while hiding it safely away from Democrat surveillance and control. It's a loophole designed to outsmart a new spyware currency while potentially increasing your personal wealth. But you must know exactly how to do it, and that's what I'm going to show you today. I must warn you, some of this will be difficult to watch. But if you care about your money and your freedom, please do not turn away. Thanks to what you'll witness here, you're about to be much more prepared for the coming storm than your neighbors, and that's a very powerful position to be in. Imagine if you were German in 1923 and able to somehow avoid the 29,500% hyperinflation that made their money worthless. Or if you could have opted out of Roosevelt's confiscation of all private gold in 1933. That's the power of asset emancipation, and I'll show you everything right now. Thanks to Section 4 of Biden's Order 14072, ordering urgent research into developing the digital dollar, I believe the U.S. dollar, the standard of the world since 1792, will be replaced by a new currency, the digital dollar. 
These new electronic currencies are called CBDCs, or Central Bank Digital Currencies. I call the digital dollar Biden bucks because I want him to take full credit for what I consider to be crimes. This is not like the money in your online bank account. No, this is new and different. Every digital dollar will be a programmable token like Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, but there's a big difference. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized digital currencies. Instead, if it plays out the way I see it, Biden bucks will have the full backing of the US Federal Reserve. They will replace the cash, fiat dollar we have now, and will soon be the sole mandatory currency of the United States. When Biden bucks are rolled out, many experts, myself included, believe they will begin an era of total government control and surveillance. This is not hyperbole. This would dramatically expand the power and influence of the federal government, essentially acting as a new type of spyware. With Biden bucks, the government will be able to force you to comply with its agenda, because if you don't, they could turn off your money. This won't be like freezing a bank account. It will be so much easier because Biden bucks will be digital tokens programmed at the source. They could be turned on or off at will with just a keystroke, and they could be reprogrammed at any time. With Biden's secret surveillance army running the show, the anti-freedom implications are almost limitless. For example, Biden bucks could be programmed to allow only certain kinds of purchases. Imagine what this new world could look like. You wanna keep an internal combustion engine car? Your digital dollars suddenly won't pay for gas. Instead, you can be forced to buy an electric vehicle. That's just the tip of the fascist iceberg. They can force you to get vaccinated. They can force you into solar. They can force you to use less water or heat. They can force you to eat fake plant-based meat. They can control where you are allowed to travel. They can stop you purchasing certain items like guns, ammo, or survival supplies. They can control to which candidates you're allowed to donate. And they'll know every single place you spend your money forever. America would become a surveillance state like China or North Korea. Every single aspect of your life could be controlled because they'll control your money. In fact, I fully expect them to implement a social credit rating system like in China. Say the wrong thing on social media, buy the wrong thing, subscribe to the wrong news channel, give money to the wrong candidate, and your rating drops. Suddenly your Biden bucks are frozen or disappearing from your account. This is already happening in China. There, a low social score gets you officially labeled untrustworthy. They can take away your ability to travel, restrict your internet access, deny your family the best schools or jobs. They may even take away your pets. I'm not kidding. All this is going on today. But that's China, an oppressive communist country. Could this really happen in a democracy? Just ask the truckers in Canada, because that's exactly what happened to them. Their Prime Minister Trudeau was granted special emergency powers during the peaceful trucker protest over his forced vaccination law. He then ordered all banks to freeze the accounts of the protesters and anyone who aided them in any way. And it wasn't just a threat. That fascist froze the bank accounts of nonviolent protesters. He locked up over $6 million in private accounts for protesting a forced vaccination law that truckers believe violated their sovereign human rights. Think about that. They protested his policies, so he took away their money. Think our current government would love to do that? Me too. Under Biden bucks, we'll lose many of our God-given American rights. They'll be replaced by total government surveillance and control. For almost all Americans, this would be the death of freedom forever. Almost all Americans, not you. You won't be a victim. You can beat Biden's surveillance army at its own game. The key is what I call asset emancipation. Asset emancipation was created to help you maintain and even grow your personal wealth, regardless of what happens to the cash dollar. Even better, it's designed to legally hide your assets away from government surveillance and allow you to potentially profit from the turmoil. For the record, asset emancipation has nothing to do with giving up your passport or fleeing the country. It has nothing to do with offshore banks or foreign currency trading. And you won't hear about it from your financial advisor because it's almost certain he has no clue about this loophole for legally opting out of the Biden Buck surveillance program. I'll reveal everything in a moment, but I want to expose how deep this new conspiracy runs. Programmable currencies will soon replace all the cash currencies on earth. More than half of countries and almost 90% of central banks are exploring or testing a digital currency right now. This includes Japan, Germany, India, France, the UK, Russia, Australia, Brazil, Canada, and China. In fact, China's new digital currency, the EU yuan, was used for millions of dollars worth of transactions at the Beijing Winter Olympics. 
The Economist has announced the rise of government-backed digital currencies, warning they will shift power away from individuals to the state. Even an institution as conservative as the International Monetary Fund admits these new currencies are the future of money. Make no mistake, no matter the outcome of any future elections, this is happening. The storm is closing in. If my research and predictions are correct, soon there will be no more cash. The dollar we know will be dead and buried, replaced by programmable Biden bucks. The Secret Surveillance Army has been working on this for years. The U.S. Federal Reserve has been quietly partnering with scientists at MIT to develop a digital currency to replace the dollar. They call this initiative Project Hamilton. Then this year, the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, the clearinghouse for U.S. stocks, bonds, and other security trades, quietly launched Project Lithium. Project Lithium is testing how a digital dollar will work in the financial markets once the current dollar is dead. Project Lithium is partnering with the Digital Dollar Project, a joint effort started in 2020 between Accenture, U.S. regulators, and tech leaders to create the digital dollar. Then on March 29, 2022, just days after Biden's Order 14027 was signed, Representative Stephen F. Lynch introduced H.R. 7231, the Electronic Currency and Secure Hardware Act. This act, co-sponsored by four other Democrats, orders the Secretary of the Treasury to develop a digital dollar. I believe we'll see the first rollout of the new digital dollar, Biden bucks, in 2023 or 2024. And it's right on schedule. You see, about every 40 to 50 years, there's a major disruption in U.S. monetary policy that increases government power at the expense of citizen rights. The Gold Reserve Act of 1934 was the first currency quake. In that shocking act of fascism, Democrat President Roosevelt ordered all U.S. citizens to hand in their gold. Yes, privately owning gold was made illegal. The government wanted it all. If you failed to comply, you faced huge fines or were jailed. Interesting how this fascist plot isn't taught in our history classes, isn't it? Then came currency quake number two, the Gold Standard Act of 1971, when the U.S. abandoned the gold standard for good. What happened then? The dollar got destroyed, rampant inflation continued, and the power of the Federal Reserve increased dramatically. I predict the death of the dollar is the third and final currency quake. But it will be more dangerous and far-reaching than any crime that came before. If the U.S. dollar is replaced by Biden bucks spyware, I believe the government will be able to track, control, and limit your spending. Soon there will be no more privacy. Zero. Gone. The government will know all your whereabouts and habits at all times, because they will know exactly where all your money is spent. The new state surveillance army will be everywhere. In history, I don't know of one example of a government with access to a citizen surveillance system that hasn't used it. Not one. In fact, surveillance is the true driving force behind the new Chinese digital currency. China already uses facial recognition software, mobile phone GPS, and the purchase of plane or train tickets to track their citizens. They use this to detect anti-state activities and to arrest anyone who does not strictly follow the orders of Chairman Xi. Now, can you imagine the Dems having that kind of total government control? In fact, the coronavirus pandemic gave them a playbook for how to control a population. They've been practicing for two years. Now, thanks to Biden's order 14067, I predict the U.S. will soon be a surveillance state like China. On March 26, 2022, Fox News sounds the alarm. Biden order 14067 is a truly remarkable and deeply troubling development. If a digital dollar were to be created, it would dramatically expand the power and influence of the federal government and Federal Reserve in ways most Americans won't understand until it's too late to roll it back. With Biden bucks as our mandatory currency, it would be so easy for the government to confiscate assets and freeze accounts at will. In fact, Biden bucks could allow one party to hold on to power forever. Imagine, Merrick Garland would say, we have the voting records. We know if you voted for Trump. And if you did, we're going to disable your bank accounts. Does that sound like a stretch in this day and age? I don't think so either. There's more. Your retirement savings could disappear. They'll do this through the introduction of negative interest rates. This is not far-fetched. In fact, I believe it's extremely likely. Here's why. It's simple economics. The government doesn't want us holding on to cash. They need us spending, spending, and spending some more to prop up their house of cards economy. So how do you stop people holding on to cash? Step one, you eliminate cash altogether with the Biden bucks digital currency. Then step two, you introduce a negative interest rate on all accounts. After all, you can program a digital currency to do anything at any time. 
with the negative interest rates, if you don't spend your money, it starts shrinking. Think of it this way. How do you slaughter cattle? You need to get them into a chute first, otherwise they'll all run away. Biden bucks are a digital cattle chute. You cut off access to all other forms of currency. You do away with everything except this programmable, trackable digital dollar. And then you can march us all right to the slaughterhouse. They'll control how and where you spend your money. And if you don't spend it, they'll make it disappear. Friend, all of this is underway right now. I believe we are at the dawn of the total surveillance state. There's no stopping it. There's no escaping it. Unless, unless you know how to legally sidestep Biden bucks and protect your savings and your freedoms. I call it asset emancipation. And that's what I'm going to show you now. I hold a master's degree in international economics and another one in taxation. I got my law degree from the University of Pennsylvania Law School. I worked at the highest levels of Wall Street and international finance for 40 years. I held senior positions at Citibank, Caxton Associates, and the hedge fund Long-Term Capital Management. I've been inside the West Wing of the White House. I helped negotiate the end of the Iranian hostage crisis for the Reagan administration. The Nixon administration asked me to help craft the Petrodollar Accord. I've attended strategic sessions in the vaults, the secure meeting rooms, inside the Pentagon. Here's a photo of me there. This is all I'm allowed to show you, the inside. In fact, I hosted the first ever financial war games for the Pentagon. I've been invited to the CIA director's secure conference room on the seventh floor at Langley headquarters. I've been inside the U.S. Treasury and spoke privately with Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner. I've been invited into the Federal Reserve and had conversations with Ben Bernanke. Here's a snapshot of our discussion. I really don't like to brag, but my experience and connections give me a unique insight into the coming storm. And when it comes to showing you how to protect your wealth and freedom, you want someone with my credentials. Don't trust anyone with less. And I have good news today. You can still protect yourself, your family, and your wealth, just like I have. But there's one thing. You must act now. There's almost no time left. They're currently working on Biden bucks. Look, my eyes are wide open about the problems in America, but I love our country. I refuse to stand back and let the fascists take control, not without a fight. That's why I've created something you won't find anywhere else on earth. A true game plan for sidestepping Biden bucks, for protecting your savings, for outsmarting Biden's surveillance army, and emerging stronger, safer, and potentially wealthier than before. It's called asset emancipation, and it's a financial survival plan for the coming storm. Asset emancipation allows you to legally hide your money from a Biden bucks surveillance state. And even better than that, it was designed to help you profit from the turmoil that it will bring. My background inside the U.S. intelligence community, investment banks, and global currency markets has shown me how smart investors could profit from the digital dollar disaster. That's exactly what asset emancipation was designed to do. Now, of course, you don't have to do this, and you can sit back and trust our government if you like. But by watching this full presentation, I know you're a lot smarter than the average Joe. You see that America will soon be transformed into a total surveillance state and that you could be forced to comply with the Dems' fascist agenda, unless you know exactly how to defeat them. That's why today I'm going to share my full asset emancipation system with you. I feel it's my responsibility as a patriot and sovereign citizen. I've written up the full step-by-step -step game plan in a new report called The Asset Emancipation System, Securing Your Sovereign Wealth and Freedom. In a moment, I'm going to show you how to claim your copy of the asset.